ओम श्री साई राम श्री सत्य साई कल्प द्रुमा अष्टोत्तरम सिक्स ओम श्री साई सत्य गुणात्मने नम सैल्यूटेशन टू श्री साई हु ट्रांसेंड्स ऑल द थ्री गुणास दट इज सत्व रजस एंड तमस अमंगस्ट सत्य धर्म शांति एंड प्रेम स्वामी हैज गिवन प्रायोरिटी टू सत्य दिस इज बिकॉज सत्य इज द फॉर्म ऑफ द लॉर्ड who transcends all the three gunas sattva rajas and tamas he also transcends time and is eternal swami says the atma dwells as the three gunas in the human body which is made up of five elements the triple incarnation of brahma vishnu and mahesh reside in our body as three gunas these three are form of divinity brahma or sattva is the creative principle Vishnu or Rajas is the sustaining principle Mahesh or Tamas is the dissolution principle which destroys all the negative tendencies though every human being is a repository of all the three gunas the sattva or the creative principle is predominant in female or the mothers and the rajas or sustaining principle is predominant in males or fathers thus it is as the upanishads declare matru devo bhava mother should be worshiped as brahma the creator devotion and service to mother symbolizes worship to god after mother it is the father he protects his children fosters them and directs them towards the path of god realization so father should be worshiped as vishnu the sustainer therefore in a way mother and father are representatives of brahma and vishnu tamoguna is ordinarily associated with lethargy or dullness but this is not an accurate interpretation in this context tamas is associated with the auspiciousness of shiva and mahesha who stands for the destruction of all evil tendencies in man to help him experience his own divine nature this triple incarnation of the three gunas exists in every individual the shrutis declare ishvara sarva bhutanam God exists in all beings Isha vasyam idam jagat God pervades this entire universe Shri Satya Sai Baba not only transcends these three gunas but as Satya Swarupa his form symbolizes the ultimate truth We are all aware of the lingodbhava that Swami performs during Maha Shivratri every year He then gives the manifested Atma Lingam to some chosen devotee for daily worship Once it so happened that he gave the atma lingam to a lady devotee and also explained to her about the mode of worship the lady was overjoyed and she installed it in the shrine of her house and started regular worship after a while she had to travel on work both in india and abroad she would carry the lingam with her and perform worship wherever she went but in doing so she had doubts and was worried about maintaining its sanctity and felt burdened she was also unsure whether she would be able to worship the lingam in future so she thought of returning it to swami on her next visit during darshan swami called her for an interview however she failed to express her doubts about the atma lingam the lingam was wrapped in a silk cloth and was with her the interview got over swami started going up the staircase his upward walk was strangely followed by a tuck tuck sound when she looked in the direction of the sound she was stunned to see the atma lingam following swami on the steps resulting in that sound she immediately checked her silk cloth in which she had carried the atma lingam and was shocked to find it missing unknowingly she exclaimed swami my atma lingam swami stopped for a moment looked at her and said your atma lingam she realized her mistake but it was too late by that time the atma lingam and swami were already gone ओम श्री सत्य साई नाथार्पणमस्तू